in Germany, if you don't say. Bloody hell, why is it snowing in April? We say, the apple macht was er will. and welcome back to the fourth episode of our developer logbook. I actually just came back from a family breakfast, so that's why I'm kinda, look kinda good today, right? Huh? I should do this more often. But of course, I'm not here today to give you styling tips. I'm here to talk about April 2020, 20, 20, something with a lot of twos in it. April this year was very interesting because I had very high expectations after our vacation and I arrived basically here, perhaps here, somewhere here. We're gonna talk about the reasons later, um, but of course there were also a few good things. So this was the month where I worked on hopefully the only consulting project this year. So I've got this old Ionic 3-ish application from like five years ago, which was basically my first client when I became self-employed. Every year there are a few changes to the project. There's never really the need to completely migrate this to a new Ionic version. So every year I get to work on this Ionic 3 project, which is kinda okay. I don't know how long I will gonna continue this, but I'm happy that I finished the work for this year. And I still think that I won't accept any other new freelance consulting project this year, so I can focus on my own project. Besides that, two good news. Number one, I will actually be once again part of the Ionic conference this year, a digital conference. I think it's around end of May, so uh, you can simply join it for free. I'm gonna talk about different UI concepts that I also explained in my book Built with Ionic. Second cool thing is I appeared on the All the code podcast from Simon and I'm gonna share a few more information about that pod in the end because there will be some cool news about it. But that's pretty much the end of the list of things I accomplished this month because in the mid of April I didn't feel very good. We're gonna talk about that in the next part. I didn't really got a lot done. I got the usual content and I got the consulting work but that's pretty much all I could achieve this month. Anyway it is what it is so let's talk about what I could have maybe improved or what I learned and what I'm gonna do differently next month. <laughs> Right, let's talk about a few challenges. Number one, Presslytics, the SAS I wanted to release in the first quarter is still not yet live. We have some problems with the speed of the application in the back end and therefore we just can't release it at this point. Challenge number two, I wanted to create a new project around Ionic. I kind of announced it already public. I got started with a little MVP, but at some point I just noticed that it's, it's gonna take really, really a long time to create this. And I actually don't know why thinking about this because I have all the time in the world but for some reason I lost steam for the project I lost the motivation right now I don't know if I can ship it in a good possible way to build an MVP would take me at least I don't know 100 150 hours maybe I'd have to hire an uh, external uh, freelancer to create something for me so uh, it's just not it's it's just not what I wanted it to be and it just feels not right at this time. Besides that, we had some family issues going on, which in the end also became physical problems. I was sick for about a week or almost two weeks and during that time I basically couldn't work. I couldn't focus on coding, I couldn't focus on anything. Um, at that time also, it's kind of interesting, whenever time's short, uh, you notice which of the things you usually do on a daily basis are the least important. So during that time, of course, posting on Instagram, posting on Twitter, posting on Twi TikTok completely went down and I didn't post anything. So these things are always pretty low on my list, although I usually think I enjoy them. But when time is short, you really notice what's important to you. But I also started to think about an interesting question, that is, what do I really want? Did you ever ask this yourself? What do you really want? Because whenever I look at other successful creators, I look at different YouTube profiles, Instagram profiles, I always think like, yeah, I, I would like to have that as well. But in the end, you can't be everything. So I can't be a content creator doing promotions, doing a lot of content. And on the other hand, I wish that I had a successful SaaS application. So this just won't work. And therefore, I have to ask myself, what do I really want? And in the end, for me, the answer is 
I like to create content and I always will create something, but I don't want creating content to be like the heart and the core of my business. I want to have something real, like a real SaaS application, a real successful online business. Because then I'm not always the face. If I'm sick for two weeks, that's usually not a problem if you have a team. But if you're a solo creator and you can't create content, well, then you're pretty much so try this exercise yourself right now if you want to pause this video and ask yourself what do you really want to become in like five, ten years? How do you want to make money? How do you want to live? Uh, what do you want to do on a daily basis? Those are some really deep questions that take time to answer, but they are really important to figuring out in which direction you should actually go. Should I spend more time creating better YouTube videos or should I take more time for a detailed SaaS research? And that is actually also one of the plans for the upcoming month. To wrap up this developer logbook, let's quickly talk about my next plans because for the future I got some interesting things planned. Number one is I will join the All The Code podcast as a co-host next to Simon. So it's gonna be Simon and Simon doing the All The Code podcast in the very near future. I'm very excited about this because I always wanted to start a pod, but I never really had enough ideas. I didn't know about the technology. So now I can join Simon who already started that pod a while ago and we will talk about interesting topics related to uh, learning to code, getting into coding, but also about all the latest trends, Web3, crypto, everything uh, in a format which will be both entertaining and also informative. At least that's what we see for the pod. Let's see how it goes. We will definitely also bring in some guests in the future. Hope you'll enjoy it. I'll definitely also share the URL to the pod in the future again. Besides that, I will also work with Simon on a little project that he already started uh, that we just want to finish. I I hope this is at least one project that we're gonna ship in May uh, because you know about the other projects I really don't know when they will go live but for this project we're pretty close to finishing it it will be just something related to finance um, and I will definitely share uh, everything that we learned in the end from this uh, in the upcoming developer logbook for me. And if I find time besides all the other ongoing content and the other obligations that I have, I really want to take a more um, structured approach to finding new ideas or better new problems for microsess because in the past I was usually thinking about them or sometimes researching communities but all of this was never really structured so uh, for now I've created some criteria for myself that I might share if you're interested in this in the future and I want to get into different communities and see if I can somehow find problems or I can go uh, check out bigger players in the market using something like G2 reviews and just try to unbundle something that is popular in a space. This is a bit different approach. It is more structured, not about luck and finding a good idea. It is really more tactical. And I hope that at some point I will find the next idea that will become a successful micro -sess. We are now four months into the new developer logbook. I haven't released any SES this year, although this was like my main plan, but well. That's just how life goes, right? Anyway, I'm also looking forward to creating new content for the Academy. I'm looking forward to the Ionic conference and I'm looking forward to our vacation at the end of May. Mm. Yeah, that will be a good time. If you want to achieve something cool in May or got plans for May, please leave them in the comments. I always love to read what other developers, other people are up to and uh, maybe we can uh, support each other and help each other out and motivate us to build something great. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, please hit the like and stay subscribed for more developer logbooks and of course also more coding tutorials in the future. I've been Captain Ionic as always and I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy coding, Simon.